If you want to take your stick from this to this, check this video and we'll show you how to regrip your hockey stick. Welcome to Sports Republic Reviews, where we give you all the information you need to buy the right product first time. Grips take quite a beating in a season, and if you're playing a lot of hockey, you're likely to replace your grip a couple of times. At Sports Republic, a lot of customers ask us to regrip their sticks, mostly because they don't know how to do it, and also because we're pretty good at it. So I'm going to show you how we like to do it here at Sports Republic. Before you start, we need to understand the difference between an overgrip and a replacement grip. Best way to explain it is to have a look at this stick. As you can see, this grip is looking pretty terrible. So we need to put a new grip on this stick and we're gonna be using a replacement grip to do that. In order to get this ready to put a new grip on, we need to remove this old grip. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a mission and all you do is you make sure that you're pulling all of the grip, the old grip off of the stick. Sometimes it might stick uh, and then you have to use your, use your fingers or a blade to get it off, but this, this one's coming off pretty easy. And you remove all the grip and any residue that it possibly leaves. Cool. So now that the old grip is off, we can select a replacement grip to put over. So let's have a look at some replacement grips. I've got two here. One is a 2NT cushion grip, and the other is a Saka soft touch grip. You'll notice on replacement grips, you're always gonna have a glue strip that helps you apply the grip onto the stick and so that the grip bonds to the stick so that it doesn't move around. Another thing to take note of when looking at applying a replacement grip is whether the grip starts at the top and works its way down the handle, or whether the grip starts at the bottom and works its way up. We're gonna show you Gripping from the top down, first using the 2NT cushion grips that are designed to start at the top. So what you do with your replacement grips, first is start by removing a little strip of the protective layer that sits on the, the glue strip. Then we're going to start at the top of the stick and where this grip narrows, we start at the top of the end cap. And we start by applying the grip just neatly on the end cap and you'll feel that the glue already starts sticking so you only have one chance to get this right so it's important that if you're doing this for the first time maybe have a couple of practice runs before you remove the film on the glue so i've got the glue strip and it's starting to stick and i've got the narrow bit that started at the top of the stick at the top of the end cap here and i'm going to slowly start wrapping the grip around when you get back to the place that you started you're going to start with a little overlap you'll notice that these two nt grips have a nice little guide two to three millimeters that allow you to start overlapping onto itself and that makes sure that you're getting it really nice and snug and what you're going to do is just keep wrapping around until you get to the bottom of the stick When you start getting close to the bottom of the stick, you'll need to decide where you want the grip to stop. What you can do then is grab a pair of scissors and just cut neatly at an angle so that the grip lines up nicely with the end of the handle. What you can do then is use some tape. And while I'm talking about tape, we like to use stick tape and we sell this 2NT stick tape here at Sports Republic. You could also use any insulation tape as well. We just find that stick tape works way better. So I'm gonna grab some stick tape, a 
apply it to the end of the grip. Make it nice and tight and to be sure that it's sticking and it's going to hold the grip down. And I can just snip some off with the scissors. And there you go. This is the 2NT cushion grip, gripped from the top down. Now let's look at starting from the bottom and working our way up. So I've got another stick. I've neatly removed the grip and uh, I'm going to select this Asaka soft touch grip and start from the bottom and work our way up. Again, you'll see a little film that covers the glue strip. So when you're ready, you start removing a little bit of the film and you apply it to the part where the last grip on the stick stopped. So let's go. Removing some of this glue strip. Make sure that you check that the branding of the grip is the correct way up. And very simply put the grip down, let the glue set. You'll feel that the glue is already starting to take effect. And same as, uh, same as starting at the top, we start with just little overlaps and we work our way up the stick. With a little overlap, make sure that you're applying slight pressure. Not too much. It doesn't have to go on really tight. Just enough pressure that it's going to wrap nice and tight around the stick. Some of the Osaka sticks have got vibrofoam. And if you pull this too tight, you're going to compress that vibrofoam and lose some of the dampening properties that it has. So let's carry on here. You'll notice that when we start getting close to the top of the stick that we're going to have some excess grip. So what we need to do, this is where it becomes a little bit more tricky than gripping from the top down, is we need to mark off where we're going to cut some of this grip off. So what I like to do is I leave some of this film covering the glue strip for now and I carry on overlapping so that I can see and mark points that I need to start cutting. So the first point you need to mark with a pen is where the grip touches the end cap for the first time. I take a pen and I put a little mark where the grip starts touching the end cap. I carry on gripping around and now I need to make a mark at the spot that the grip touches the end cap last. So you'll notice it's around over there where my finger is and I make another mark over there. Now, because I haven't removed the film, the grip's not sticking to the stick. So I've got two points now. So what we do next is we take a scissors and we cut in a neat line between the two points. There we go. I can now remove the little film to expose the glue and I can carry on wrapping. And you'll notice that the grip will end nice and flush with the end of the end cap. There we go. That's pretty much the stick gripped from the bottom up. Now we need to just clean it up a little bit. Again, you can use white insulation tape to make it look really neat. We're going to use some stick tape just lasts longer and it grips a little bit better on your hand. I'm going to apply a little bit of stick tape onto the top of the stick. And clip it off with some scissors. You can apply some stick tape to the bottom if you'd like, but because there is sufficient overlapping there, Usually we find that this doesn't move. And there we go. That's a stick gripped with an Osaka soft touch grip from the bottom up. A little bit more tricky because you do end up needing to cut off a little piece of grip. But it's a really nice clean look and feel once you've done it. So there you go. A quick little video showing you how to re-grip a stick with a replacement grip. 
This is how we like to do it. But if you've got a way that's possibly easier, post it in the comments below. We hope this video has taught you how to regrip your stick like a pro. If it has, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel to make sure you never miss any of our reviews. And we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.